Good afternoon, parents, carers and students. Welcome to Year 8 Transitions Evening at Edison High School. We welcome you today to learn more about the course of study from Year 9 and onward and the optional subjects that we offer here at Bedston. At Bedston High School, we offer a wide range of courses that your child can choose to study next year. We offer a very enriched curriculum. Due to recent lockdowns, unfortunately, our students have had a reduced amount of time to study some of the optional subjects. But we do hope through browsing the online transitions book today and watching videos for subjects like health and social care and business, you are able to support your child in making their choices. I'll now pass you on to our head teacher. Hello everyone and can I add my welcome to our transitions presentation and the word transition means of course a period of change and year eight are about to begin their three-year GCSE journey which we call Key Stage 4. And our curriculum remains very broad at Key Stage 4 and whilst there may be some limited choice the subjects studied will largely be decided by the government's national curriculum and the school uh, based on our assessment of a student's individual strengths. And we'll be guiding your son or daughter onto appropriate pathway of GCSEs or GCSEs and BTECs, which will be designed to maximise the chances of examination success. And that success is measured by what the government call the Progress 8, the best eight GCSE or BTEC grades that your son or daughter achieves at the end of year 11. And if we reflect for a moment on the school's examination results, it's clear that we're very successful in guiding students onto appropriate pathways. And every year we're placed in the top few percent of schools in the country for the students' progress that's made during the GCSE years. And 80% of our students then pass through the sixth form and onto a university of their choice. And that's against a national average of 50%. So this is very powerful evidence that the advice of staff in guiding pupils onto appropriate courses really does work. So I do hope this presentation and the meetings with subject teachers proves to be helpful and I'll now hand over to Mr Thacker who will talk a little bit more about the Key Stage 4 curriculum and the process itself. So thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Kamal Thacker and I'm a Deputy Head Teacher here at Fudderston with the job of constructing the curriculum that your child follows at the school. Curriculum at Featherston High School is influenced by the English Baccalaureate. This is the key stage four curriculum the government expects 75% of all children to take up by 2022 and 90% by 2025. It is built around a core of English, maths, sciences, a humanity, and a foreign language. The government have put the English Baccalaureate in place to stop children from specialising too early in their time at high school and to keep their options open. Thus having a GCSE in an English Baccalaureate subject such as history would enable a pupil to take up a related subject, sociology, but conversely, a GCSE in a non-English baccalaureate subject such as sociology would not enable a pupil to take up A-level history. At Featherston High School, we operate three separate pathways. If your child is selected to follow the green pathway, they will be invited by the science department to do three separate GCSEs in biology, chemistry and physics rather than a combined science course, which is worth two GCSEs. This is purely an enrichment pathway, as pupils can take up the A-levels in the separate sciences through the combined science route. Pupils selected for this pathway must commit to attending lessons during the extended day. If your child is selected to follow the yellow pathway, they will be doing travel and tourism as a BTEC subject instead of a foreign language. In the main, this applies to children in year eight who are currently receiving extra English and maths instead of doing French or Spanish. 
the vast majority of our year nine pupils follow the blue pathway made up of English language and literature, maths, combined or double science, history, geography, a foreign language, RE, PSC and PE. However, pupils do get to choose two optional subjects, one of which must be an art subject such as music or indeed art itself. I'm just going to talk to you about the GCSE and BTEP qualifications. As I'm sure you're aware, there were some changes when the qualifications were reformed a few years ago. Firstly, the letter grading system, which we may be familiar with, has now gone. And this has now been replaced with the new numerical grading system, where students receive a grade between one to nine, with grade nine being the highest grade possible that students can attain. The tiered entry systems of foundation and higher tiers of papers has also gone with students now all sitting the same exam at the end of year 11. Only a handful of subjects such as science and maths still have these foundation and higher tiered entries. In most subjects have the same exam being sat by all students. All GCSEs are now linear exams where the examinations happen at the end of year 11 within the traditional exam period. Nearly all GCSEs have the assessment through the examination and the examination only through that examination period at the end of year 11. Only the art subjects and a handful of subjects have a form of assessment throughout the actual qualification. A pass is considered to be a grade four, with a good or a strong pass being considered to be a grade five. To progress on to further study or A-levels here within the sixth form, students need to attain a minimum of grade six in the subject or subjects they wish to study and pursue here within the sixth form, as well as a minimum grade four in English and maths. So for example, if students want to continue studying maths at a level here at Featherstone High School, they need to ensure that they attain a minimum of grade six at GCSE level. The BTEC qualifications also have external examination units, and these make up 40% of those qualifications. So again, formal exams being set for these BTEC qualifications, with the remainder of the course being made up of the traditional teacher assessed coursework units. Choosing your subjects at the end of year eight is the first of a series of stepping stones which will take you towards a well-paid, rewarding career when you finish full-time education. Employers recognise that students in year eight do not yet know what they want to do as a job, and so what they are looking for is good grades rather than the specific subjects. Make sure when you're choosing your subjects at the end of year eight, you're choosing subjects that you're likely to achieve good grades in. And the school would like you to choose an art subject because the art subjects help you to develop a range of key transferable, transferable skills, including creativity and teamwork. At the end of year nine, when you get your school report, you will be asked to select one humanity, so from geography or history, the subject that you are best at, and to drop one of the open options that you have done in year nine. So that as you move into year 10 and into year 11, you will be able to focus more on the remaining GCSEs and get the best possible grades that you can. At the end of year 11, when you, re when you receive your GCSE and BTEC results, you will then uh, move into sixth form or onto college where you will select A-levels or BTEC qualifications. These courses that you choose will be decided on the grades that you achieve at the end of year 11. The higher the grades you achieve at the end of year 11, the wider the range of courses that will be available to you in our sixth form. At the end of year 13, you will leave Featherstone High School and have the opportunity to move on to apprenticeship, training in the workplace or to university. And all three routes will once again be decided on the quality of the grades that you achieve rather than the subjects that you have chosen. 
Our sixth form and many sixth forms around the borough are looking for students who have achieved high average grades. The entry requirement for Featherstone sixth form to do A-levels is to get at least five GCSEs at grade five or better and a grade six in the subject you want to choose. So it is better to select a subject that you're going to get a grade five in rather than a subject that you are going to get a grade two in. In order to get onto the BTEC Level 3 qualifications, you should be looking to achieve at least five GCSEs at Grade 4 or better. I am going to be speaking to you about what your children need to do next. They need to explore their options. This can be achieved by talking to the right people. This includes their form tutor, Miss Butt, Head of Year, myself, Ms. Ragani, Deputy Head of Year, Mr. Webb or Shami, our Connections Advisor. Pupils need to think about their future qualifications and the careers that they may want to follow. The online options indication form, which was sent out to parents, must be submitted and completed by Wednesday 31st of March. This final slide shows you the open options that will be available for you to select from in year nine. So what happened in year 10? At the end of year nine, our students choose which humanities subjects to continue with, either history or geography. They drop one of their open options and continue with the other one, or alternatively, they can choose to do both humanities subjects and drop both open options. Sometimes subjects in the open block will not run. Therefore, when your child is completing their transitions options indications form, we ask them to indicate their preferences in rank order. They will be expected to follow their tutor's advice along with my own, and they will not be able to take up subjects where their progress is poor or their subject teacher does not encourage them to do so because they may struggle in the future. We recommend that you help your child understand that it's very important to have an open mind about the options they want to pursue in the future. Finally, I'd like to thank you all for joining today's virtual Year 8 Transitions evening. We hope that you have learned information about the optional subjects that we offer here at Bedston High School, along with learning more about the process um, of the transition from Year 8 to Year 9 from Key Stage 3 to Key Stage 4. Just to remind you that the deadline for submitting uh, your child's preferences is 31st of March. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.